Hi, I'm Jane. I love to garden. I live in Utah up against the Wasatch Mountains, and my husband put together that awesome bench for me. I love it. It has been really cold and rainy for two days, which has been, it's been nice because it's growing everything really nice. But let's do this video inside and we'll come back a different time. I'm going to take these three and combine them because I know there's quite a bit that dried out. This whole entire one is looking a lot better. Let's look at these roots too. Hi, I'm Jane. I love to garden today. I'm going to work on dahlia cuttings and moving all the plants in the sunroom around. I'm also going to do a little bit outside. My back is hurting, but my sons are going to help me. So we'll get a few things done today. First, I'm going to start with the one that looks the worst. Maybe two made it. One, two. Okay, so see how these, these root riot cubes dry out really, really fast. So this one might have made it, but it dried out. And then this section, maybe it was tipped like this a little, because these ones look really good. Anyway, so this is why I'm combining the three, because not I didn't, not all made it. And it's because of neglect. You know, that's what happens when you hurt. Let's look at this guy. Okay, this is a Cornell. And besides, he does look a little sad on top. But he looks like he's going to make it, so we'll put him over there. Let's pull this guy up. I think I'm just going to take this leaf off and then those two will make it. So I've got two out of that whole tray that I can move over. Let's look at this one next. So we have the opposite. These ones look too wet. So we've got six dried out. <laughs> we look like we only have three that made it. And they are all Pineland's Princess. Polka, why won't you work for me? Okay, let's look at the roots. I still like these trays, and I'm going to be doing this for my rose cuttings pretty soon. Okay, so Polka will just save that tag for something else. And Pineland's Princess, we have three Pineland's Princesses. Oh, those look good, guys. Look at that. Pineland's Princess done on three, so March 3rd or 13th. Okay. So I don't know if I'm going to pull these out. I'm going to leave those three in. I know you guys want to see them though. Maybe I will. So I'm just on a dirty table out here. Look at my view. So that needs a lot of help. But look at that. Not pretty. So I just dumped it out and sent everything flying. Whoops. So this looks super, super moist. It's not rotting. I don't see as much... Um, root growth this one feels very dry actually and look at all those roots these are all three pinelands princess and then this last one that just barely tipped this one looks the best look at that that is awesome so i might pinch the top out a little bit so it's more bushy all three Pinelands Princesses and then I have one here that does not have a label and then this Cornell so I'm gonna I'm gonna label individually on these because didn't have wonderful success but like I said this is mostly neglect because if I had babysat these a little bit better they would have done awesome but I don't feel wonderful okay last one this one looks the very best oh my goodness I lost, oh, yeah, lost two back there. Lost this one. That one was a Jowy Winnie. Lost this one, which was a Valley Rust Bucket. Pylons Princess again. A la mode. Ivan Eddie. No polka. Why can't I get polka to grow? Um, Diva. Another Valley Rust Bucket looks like it worked there. Pylons Princess. So this is the best one. It does say a date on here, 329. So let me have two hands, I'll be right back. I was able to take it out of the green tray and I just wanted to show you, look at that one coming all the way out. That one does not have a label. Can you see any of these? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
combine these together and I am going to put some water in both of their trays. And I'm going to groom it up a little bit. So I'm going to clip this all the way down. This one I could probably do with my fingernail because I have one fingernail. I'm going to actually take it all the way down to there. That one's a Pinelands Princess. That is so beautiful. It's going to be a gorgeous plant. Why not just take that out too? Okay, any of these look like they need to be groomed at all? We have a little bit of debris that came out. Okay, um, I might want to just put them in here. Let's see, how many did we lose? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We have one tray that worked perfect. These are going to stay inside until they have a really good root system, and then I'll pop them up, and then they'll come outside. So we are the end of April. Not quite the end of April. And then maybe they'll come out in June. But I'm really happy with this. Look at that one. Look at the diva doing it. Okay, let me tell you what I have. A la mode. Pinelands Princess. One, two, three, four, five. Pinelands Princess. Ivanetti. Diva. Valley Rest Bucket. Cornell. And three, miss, miss, three that don't have labels. This one's my favorite. This one's my favorite of all my dahlias that I did. Pineland Princess. It, I think there's four or five cuttings that took really well from the Root Riot Cubes. I can show you the ones in water in just a minute. Okay, so I filled up a whole tray. And like I said, it could have had even more success. But life gets away. So I'll reuse these trays. And I will reuse the Root Riots. I think one thing that this tray did better than the others is it stayed moist. And if they stay moist, I think that they do better because it even had water. Look, it even had water at the bottom. Not very much. You guys have to remember I'm in a desert, so we need the moisture. All right, I'm just going to put a little bit of water in this tray. I'm going to put this on top. And then I'm going to put the humidity dome back on, make sure it's closed. And this will go back inside on the heat mat. It's kind of puffing up, so I'm going to put something a little bit heavy on top. Okay, so I just took the three and I combined them to one. I have a heat mat here, so I'm just going to stick it there. Because it's puffing up a little bit, I'm just going to take this little propagator. This one has a coleus cutting in it. And that'll hold the weight down. It's on the heat mat. Look, I have some more space on the heat mat. So I can put this one. I can put Marn over here for a bit. This one needs to be watered. The weather is really gross outside. We've had two days of raining weather, which is really good because we live in Utah and we need that water. So we're going to finish with showing you cuttings in water. Specifically Dahlia cuttings. So let's look. So I'm going to finish this video in the sunroom because we've had lots of rain. Look, this one's about to bloom. That's so exciting. I think I've had more success doing dahlia cuttings in water than in soil. So this is how I, the best ones did. I put a tape grid on it with clear, pretty water, and then I put them in. Let me show you what they look like. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. So I did the grid and then all the roots. See how many roots there are? I think they did the best like that. So this, a whole bunch of these were in that grid. So let's pull this up and look at them. Look how many roots we have on these. So that main root, that one is from um, basil. And then look, so let's take these out one at a time so you can see a little better. See how good that looks? That's a dahlia. Here's the next one. See how good? Oh, they look so good. The one with the bloom on it. We've got a root. I know you're not supposed to let him bloom, but he wants to bloom. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at this dahlia cutting. This one was done in water. 
Look at that. Oh my goodness, and see all the growth. Oh, that's looking good. The one that makes the most roots in here is the basil. Basil always looks good. If any more of these have roots. So those ones are not quite rooted, but look at that one. Can you see that lovely root? Wow. Look at my dahlias on the floor. They want to go outside, but they can't go outside. It's gross out there. You have to wait. The tomatoes are putting on some good size now too. The tomatoes that are the most furthest along, these are Kaleidoscope Jewel. Yeah, these are yummy. They smell really good. They smell Tomatoes like plants smell amazing. I think they, they do too. They kind of smell like basil. Well, maybe. Maybe they were by a basil. Nope, not by a basil. Basil's right there. Right there, baby. That's the basil. So I'm getting some really good tall tomato plants. And even if they're really long, that is basil. You want to try it? Yeah. See if you like it. I don't know if you like it by itself, though. <laughs> it's a little strong. It is a little strong. Oh, it just got worse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what I was saying was, even though they're really, really long and lengthy, that's fine because most of you know you can plant them all the way up they to here, really good. and they will give you lots of roots all along. See, they're already trying to push the roots, and they're still pretty strong because we've got a big fan in here. So last week, what I did is I took. The tall ones that were over there, and I put them over here. Yeah. Hello. So I'm just picking a lot of basil. Do I know why? I think you want to know why. Why? Because I want to put it on my eggs. So they're going to go make eggs, Grandma and Lindsay. And I'm going to end this video. See you later. Bye. Just have fun with it. Just have fun with it. Pew, 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 pew. Like and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that video. Most of it was done inside. We had a little bit of work done outside. But you got to see my mountains. I love where I live. The rain has stopped. And I think we're going to get a really glorious day tomorrow. And just look around how pretty. She has ice in her mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs>